The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or Comcast. MATV welcomes your comments. Call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. And this is the second game of this Sunday, March the 6th. It is, and welcome to the second game. And welcome, I'm sorry. you got to say welcome to the people out there, because they like it when you start off nice. And welcome to the second game. Because some people don't like what we say. They can always turn the channel. We have the Celtics, who I believe are playing 6-6 six six ball, and the Hawks, who I believe are 9-3 and three right now, getting ready for action. You are correct. 9-3, and three, the Bullets are 9-4. and four. The Hawks to clinch second place with a win today. And it was a nice pass, a good block by Joe Armstrong. Playing man stuff. Evans Magic Riviere had him out this past two weeks. Midnight, out there in the cold, the tundra. Out there practicing. With no shoes on. No, with his dress socks on. <laughs> That's right. You can't have actions unbecoming of a Celtic and not listen to your coach. The Hawks with the early lead. One mil. Steal by Abita. Legentis, one of those people who hasn't seen a shot he doesn't like. We're gonna check the numbers now. The Hawks are, see what we have. The Hawks come out in the press. Celtics break the press down. Joe blows the button. I'm missing my final sheet. Someone done stole the top 10 list. Someone just tore it off and took off with it. But if we if we go by the numbers, average per game, the Hawks are all over the ball right now. Nice pass by Omita to guess behind the back, and that brings a smile to Bonacco Stroud's face. They're beating the Celtics at the wrong game. There goes Joe on. again. And he hits it. He's on fire this weekend. Opposite to Romita. Throws it away to the Celtics. Santos comes the other way, uses his speed. Blows the bunny. Charamella trying to back it down. No longer looking like Shaggy. Opposite to. Ray Charles, who didn't even look oh, at the rim. Oh, that's a missed charge. That should have been a charge. There's a lot of action down here right now. Joe Armstrong's got two points, and he's hit the floor once. A good fake by Legentis. Throws it over the rim. Armstrong's on the run. He knows he can't dribble. That was very smart. I can't give him one of these shirts. What? I cannot give Joe Armstrong a shirt. That was a smart move he just did. Jamie Guess, not known for missing layups and proved why. Fast action pace game right now. He's on the wrong side of the rim. He can't shoot from his right. Omita throws it to Joe Armstrong who misses it. Armstrong ain't on his team. I don't know if I'll have time to run by the numbers. Back to Armstrong, who's hot. Oh. Misses that one. Jolly good try. Ruben Legentis. Oh, I got a trade for you. What? He's telling Joe Armstrong to sit. He's not going to sit either. He's not listening. Joe Armstrong, actions unbecoming of a Celtic. That means you're going to get some splinters, son. Magic, don't play. 
Here, bench you. Nice pass to Guess. They're out running, they're out hustling, they're out maneuvering, and they're in position, and the Celtics are not. Legentis is up and going again. Body by Santos. Celtics want a timeout this early. Not at all. Like four bunnies already. Yes. They're not playing defense. And magic is hit. Celtics are just not moving the ball well. That's all it is. They're passing to yellow jerseys. If they stop that, the game would be a little closer. It's not that they're doing anything wrong. They're just throwing it to the wrong team. They've got to watch their passing. They're spreading their offense. They're moving people around. It's just not there right now. It's too fast-paced. The Phillies on a fast-paced team. Will you feel his pain? <laughs> yeah, when I was thinking about that. Well, hit him with a crutch. Let him know what pain is. <laughs> he showed up late, too. No, I didn't. He showed up late. You should hit him with a crutch. Howard Jones was out scouting with two games left in the season. That tells you how much he should be hit with the cane. Season's over. If we go by the numbers, the Hawks average 56 a game. The Celtics, 49. Seven point favorite are the Hawks. And we are gonna be joined now by Nestor Dudley. Yeah, well he had some business to attend to. Late, when, you get those, when you get those phone business. calls, those unexpected phone calls, you got to answer them. And I know who it was on the phone, Andy, do you? No. The people from Gatorade asking them to be in the next commercial. Not only to be in the commercial, to, to show off the shirt and the flavor of the day. And, and he'll be in Celebrity Fit Club Part 2, but the ones who are in shape, because the Gatorade lady who's on there now, you know, you don't watch it, I guess. Celebrity Fit Club. I call it with the Snapple lady. Wow, you are smarter than I thought you were. I watch, I watch it sometimes. Actually, that's twice he was smart today. The divorce court lady. He might get a headache soon. Hey, Brad, um, do you have any help for the third game in the second half of this game? That I you, tried to ask people, group? but they all were like, I'm probably not staying. That's Paul Conrad. He can't do much. I'm kidding. Actually, Paul, Paul, are you staying? See ya, bastard. Let's see if I want to commentate. I'll do camera. Howard Jones, are you staying? He ain't staying. He's, when has he ever volunteered? Yeah. This? Here's his coach. He's done nothing. He's got something to do. I won a championship. He's I won a championship. Yeah, but you're hardly here. Five years. Quick as ever. Not true. Really? Two years. Oh. Guess with a poor shot over the rim. Skane with the rebound over to Santos. 3.40 to go, Celtics down 10. Very early game. Did Mike McQuarrow already take Skane off? Skane for three, had three yesterday. Up for guess, I bet he hits it. I'm so smart. That's like saying, I bet it's going to snow in December when he has a breakaway layup. It might not snow in December. But you bet it's going to. I might not bet it will. I bet it'll snow in January. Okay. Saying you Watch the camera, don't shake it. Give people a headache. Saying he'll make a free throw is like saying it's going to snow and change it. You know it's true. Well, that's true. An uh, Atlas Circle, the human spark plug for the Celtics, set to come into the game. What, you need two now? Yeah. Brendan Berger, a big fan of balloon animals and flowers. He loves balloon clovers. And he likes the maple leaf. Yes. He loves the maple leaf. Yeah. His man John gave him one at the Celtic game. John was supposed to play in this league. He never never woke up. William Lou underneath all by he lonesome. These Celtics are just rubbing in the face of the Hawks right now. No, you I mean the opposite of what? All right. The the there goes my intelligent theory on you today. Tomorrow, meet a 
I'm three thinking letters. three letters. Why are you bringing out the smart meter Why not? Wrong show. <laughs> oh well. But everyone should have a smart meter by the by their bedside. Check their brain waves. Sertle tried to do something there, but Santos is the smallest on the court. Iggy everywhere, but there's Jamie Guess again. I guess he stole that from him. It's brutal right now. 19 to 5, 220 left. It's, there's no defense. It's just up and down, up and down. One shot, good luck. But for the Hawks, it's all been layups. And the Hawks aren't really playing defense either. It's just something no. playing offense. Oh, he rushed that three. Saves it inside for Charamello. By himself against three jerseys. Nice pass inside to Ray Charles. Oh, didn't use the backboard. Didn't no, see he didn't, it. He didn't even look at the rim, to be honest. Iggy trying to do his body. Now, the bad thing, Nesta and Andy, the bad thing for the Celtics, they are the worst free throw shooting team in the league of 2005. They need to hit their shots before they get to the line. Second to worst half for the Lakers. No. Sixes. Surprises me. Yeah, that surprises me too. We have three guys in the top ten worst free throw shooters in the league. And we're not the worst team in the league. Actually you don't, because there's uh, two of them that dropped out because they don't have a minimum 19 attempts. Ah. <laughs> so only Fritz is on there now. Correct. And he's number two. You just shook hands with number one. <laughs> Ruben Legendus with his jumper, and he's a smiling fool today. They are still pressing the Celtics. Well, hey, that's what the Celtics do. Exactly. Their own medicine. That's a work. Three-pointer three field goal for Iggy Gibson. That's Iggy's second three of the year. That was just LLT on the case of Jamie Gaston. I'm gonna never say that. You gotta know where you are. Nick Chernell is You will specify sissies. Because I don't panic. You just won't win as many games. I know you'll win. And Matthew's praying for a call, but he's not getting it. Legentis from Charles. Trying to get side. William Lewis is wide open. Comes to set a pick. Inside for Charles, not using the backboard, but he gets the shooter's roll, if you will. I might have to go Iron Man because there's no one volunteering. Sort of wide open. Iron Man sucks. Yes, it does. Especially for an entire game. And a half. He just stepped out of bounds. No, he didn't, Brad. He didn't? No, nope, I that saw looked it. looked like he did. All right, my bad. 16 seconds left. I was, off look, leg. I, was look, I was looking specific, specifically for that because I wanted to know if they were going to blow the whistle because neither ref, in my opinion, was in position. Well, they so I was curious, they so I was curious to see if they the were going to blow game. the whistle. Offensive. Offensive foul through his knee into his chest. And Magic's happy at that one. Away that time. Five seconds. Adler with a nice move, almost it had it. The the Too late, no good. Ten point deficit for the Celtics. Now, Brad, I missed most of the first period. Obviously, I had to take that phone call. But did Joe Armstrong get into the game? Yes, yes he did. He started. Oh, he started. Okay. He scored their first two. 
and Magic to come out because he wasn't playing. He was uh, he didn't pay attention. He I was went, throwing the ball around. He didn't know what he was doing. I went, what's up? He's wearing one dress sock and one... T- Maybe that's why his mother came by. She took the other sock. <laughs> or said, Joe, I can only find one sock. Yeah. The sock bunny stole had, it. Had you clean your room? Maybe I can get back to the room. I already got a trade in the works for you. Next year, you'll be in something. You fish your belly. Are you serious about that? Why not? Isn't your belly his friend? Yeah. Trade the friends. Don't they want to be on the same team? Yeah. Just drop the mic. Thanks for the noise. The ball's over here. The ball's over here. I'm sorry for the rattle, but I had to pick up the mic that he dropped on the floor. Nesta just dropped it. He thought Bernardo Strauss was going to nut up and go after a ref. He was out of control. Mike, you're leaving for the day, huh? Yeah. Need help on the camera, third game. Good late. I thought Bernardo Strauss was losing control, but apparently not. Yeah. So you throw the microphone down and run out there? Broke my I threw it on the court. I didn't throw it on the naked bench. Maybe I'll ask Jeremy Rocker if he can do camera third game. Okay. There you go. Once he walks in. Yeah. As long as he's not late. Travel. travel. Steps. Definitely a travel. And that's a bad throw. Rico's been known to do that a few times a game, and he's been known not to pass. Oh, Mondi. All the way. Took it to coast the house. coast. But it was a good shot. He was wide open. Like I said, Gas throws it over to Rico, who got nailed by Gibson. That was Gibson. A steal right there. First Now starting to play defense, the Celtics are. Rico just throws up a three that was so ugly off the release. William Lou La Hustle over to guess inside the trees with the Celtics. Poor shot, should have kicked it back out and started it over. Omondi with the clean rebound, down to eight points. Eight and a half to go in the first half. Rico's been trying to pass that around his back all day, and Omondi with the whack. Hot foul. Celtics foul is number 24. Alan Mondi's first person. Two minutes have gone by in the second quarter. Eight point lead for the Hawks. Wow. He hasn't missed any of those. Mochi at the line. William Louis. I think he's a pretty good shooter. Find out in a moment. Missed them both. William Lewis, 66.5%. 10 for 15 on the season. That's good. Jovan Walcott could be out of control. He usually is the one. Yeah, he's usually on the court by now. Sertle with the nice explosion of speed. Oh, and he almost made it back. Good hustle right there. Very quick. Why did you ask him to help you? Never volunteer for anything. <laughs> For 20 plus years. Won't even help me change your tire. No. Okay. But he won't help here. I'm sure he'll go. I'm sure he'll get on the mic. He'll, he'll, get, on the the mic. he'll get on the mic. Oh, he'll do the camera? Well, as long as you got him to do something. Right. Getting him to do that would be a cool feat. But he might. We're six-point game. <laughs> the Hawks are playing a little bit sloppy right now. Well, they're pressuring. Almonte's saying it went off Rico. Magic thought it went off Rico, too. 
Of right? course, because he's on the, uh, the defensive team. But I thought he did. But I think he really thought it this time. That's just time to get called. Jamie with the good maneuvers, trying to find inside. They got away with a travel. And he got a lucky roll. Oh, a steal by Lou. Nice extension. A three for guess. Nice fall, William, William Lou. William Lou is hustling out there right now. Oh, Mondi shooting. Good move. Oh, 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 couldn't get it to fall. Shooting again. Bad shot. Chad Miller. Miller. Oh, Dress it out. <laughs> Magic's calling for the Lord, Nesta. Well, he can call for the Lord on Resurrection Sunday. Minister Bernard Stroud did, did invite him to the Zion Baptist Church, which is on Broadway in Everett, Mass. It is. I've seen it. But you know what MC Hammer says? We need to pray just to make it today. Yes. That's why we pray. Charmella misses the first. He's only a 29%. He's in the top, bottom 10. And he misses them both. Keeps himself in the running for the number one position. It's going to be a minimum 21 attempts this week. Rico throws it off of Gibson. Smart move. Way cross court to William Lou. Nice pass. Michael Lee with the near basket. Followed by Sertle. So Matthew, what do you think? He wants out. And Matt, Danny Suter's best friend. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to ask him to go talk. He wants out. Roger and Stane are friends. Ooh, a near carry. Look at the speed on him, but offensive, offensive. easily. That's offensive. Ask Kenny. Because yeah, I'm going to have to do the camera and the mic for myself next game. Yeah, I mean, you might want to make it pass like that. Opposite for Legentis. Nice pass to Lou. William Lou is on fire today. William Lou's playing well. There goes Santos all that way. Gives it to Shabelli. Tried to pass it off the backboard. Santos got an open man behind him. Sees inside. Going down court. The ref can play ball. I've seen him shooting around. He knows what he's doing. He got game. You gonna ask Jamie Rocker a question? He's busy. He's walking by. I'd ask him, but then he'd say it's up to my coach if I'm playing or not. You got to track down Bean Hamas and ask him. He ain't here yet. I know he ain't here yet. I don't know where he is. He's a busy man. I don't have time to look for him. He could be at one of those massage parlors we were talking about. <laughs> Lou increasing his game. Enjoying himself. Wide open Charamella gives a Shabelli when he should have just shot it. Charamella not thinking. That's, is that actions on becoming of a Celtic? Time out the green. Whoever that is. That's Someone's nice being thing. paged to the front table. Oliver, close off. If you're in the building, please come to the score table. Oliver, close off. You know, you know, you 
Pat's show, right? Four hours. Oh, I don't know. You don't know Pat Little show when he does TV signs? Uh, oh, well, I. Oh, the TV. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying he does a talk show with the desk and like the tonight show setup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to do another show now. It's going to be a free tape, obviously. I'm calling it after the doc. With all the world. <laughs> It's going to be 8 after 10. I'm going to be interviewing like, all the city councilmen and the mayors. Oh, and that's right. But I'm going to invite them on the show. No, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you at halftime, Andy. I hope I hear something I thought I heard. I'll tell you at halftime. Let's see who we can grab around here. Someone will show up. Maybe Heber can help during the third game. Hebert hasn't volunteered in seven years. Oh, I used to do it all the time. Ah! Liar. Shabelli at the line, I'm guessing, ain't that good of a free throw shooter. Noise, he made many attempts. Uh, didn't you say that the Celtics was the Three worst for free nine. throw shooting team? I did. That's why I'm guessing everyone on the team ain't that good. But that's not true, because there are a couple that are pretty good. Like Iggy, Gibson. Iggy Gibson's very good. <laughs> Jamie Guess. He was looking for the foul, too. Santos with a nice move, but way too quick. Charamella can't square up. Hawks got the numbers again. Four on two. He's got a pass. Oh, he traveled. There you go. He's got a pass. Four on two, and he kept it. Skane with the ball inside. Charamella kicks it out to Gibson. A block on Rolf Presume. Fouls on number 11. Rolf Presume his first personal double bonus for the South. Hawks have committed a heap of fouls. Surprising that something's not closer than all the fouls that have committed. Hawks have committed 212 fouls on the year. No, I believe the bullets are the boat the most. Packers. Yeah, bullets, then Hawks, then sixes. Where are the Lakers? Doesn't matter. You're not in the top three. Darn. Look at Rolf. He needs to pass the ball though. Oh, he should have. He had Jamie Guest down there. Oh, bad Moving. shot. I would take him out right now. Even Paul Conrad wouldn't have shot that. In his prime. Maybe at the Y, but not down here. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Well, when you got Dean on your team, you don't have a choice. You got to shoot. Rolf at the line hits the first. Rolf is pretty darn good at the line. He's in the top 10. 57.9. And that's his 21st attempt. He's 12 for 21. Guess for three, no good. Up court. Oh, same team. But Skeen ends up with it, throws it over the rim. Hugh Lee up for Jamie Guess. Kenny might ask him. <laughs> Hugh Lee just had a three pointer. That was a three? Yes, it was. Oh, it's two? My bad. Deep deuce. Yeah, deep two. Well, I'm going to have to get in the position, but I just finally got comfortable after all these years. Uh, you got a minute 20 to chill. You don't have to get in position. You're quick. You'll get there in time. I feel very cluttered. Not just you, everybody. See, you're fine because you're not. I'm not afraid of you. Everybody else is like walking. 120 to go in the first half. 36 to 19. Sharamella at the line again today. 29% before today, and he hasn't shot well at the line today either. Keeps him in the lower 10. I 
Over to Guess. Jamie Guess just shucking and jiving. There he goes again. He passed it over to Rolf. What a pass by Hugh Lee. That was an incredible pass. That should make the highlight reel this week. Woo. Get in the position. Santos opts to pass it in. Charamella, turn around. Good move. That one should have fell. That was a lid on the cover on that one. That it, he had position. He was squared up. It just again, went around the rim. That one should have fell. Fallen. No, should have fell. Fallen. That one should have fall. fallen. Same thing. It's an adjective. Fallen. That one has fallen. Yes. And it also fell through the hoop. Guess throws it to Nesta Dudley. I guess that he wants a shirt. Thirteen. Thirteen. Ten. Stolen by. There he goes. Oh, the lefty pass off the backboard. Almeida trying to feed him back. He earned it. Someone forgot time. But Uncle Straub just riding his players. He said he wouldn't have missed that. He got fouled. I beg the difference. I seen him on the court by himself. And yeah, I have to. 38-21 <laughs> in favor of the Hawks. Hawks beating the Celtics at their own game, pressing off jump. Celtics, we said with beating in, Brad, they really, really need this game. They have to try to put some distance between themselves and the Sonics. But right now, the Kings, the Kings who aren't playing, they play yesterday. Right. The Hawks wants to make a statement. The Hawks want to keep a strong hold on to the second place slot. They ain't coming in first unless, no. unless the Lakers lose two games. And then even the Lakers lose two games, it would be a one-game playoff for first place. Correct. And so they first, still wouldn't get first. So first place ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to be in the Hawks' uh, future. They want to finish two years in a row second place. And they can't do that if they drop to the Celtics. Correct. The Celtics do need this win more than the Hawks do. But... The Celtics right now not playing as a unit. They're arguing with each other. They're not hitting down low, and they're settling for off-balance shots. Brad, I'm going to take your shirt. And I'm going to give it to Beanie Amos. I see him coming down the hallway right now, so he can wear the, the LOT shirt during his game. His oh, yeah, game. yeah. So I'll give him that shirt. All right, fine. Do that. And then we'll come back from second half action, see who we can get to volunteer to help. I don't know of many people. I, there's a few people that I do know in the audience. Maybe they'll finally step up. And maybe I'll offer Andy to pay him some money after the game. You know, buy him Dr. Pepper or something. All right, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so we'll see you next half. Welcome back to the second half. The Hawks, South again. The Hawks have a 17 point lead, 38 21. Hawks played a very good first half. South played not so good. No, they didn't. That's why they're losing. By a lot. Yes. Right. Hawks are going to come out strong like they usually do during the start of the third quarter. It's up to the Celtics to stop the momentum. Yeah, the team had to stop just now. And they turned into points. Skein off the glass. And look at that basket hanging. Charles couldn't hit the layup that he should have shot underhand. He couldn't see the rim. What do you do with that? Which is L-O-T. Oh, put it up too hard. Calling body on the foul. Heber Pateau just muscling people out of the way. Heber Pateau is a beast. At the line, Iggy Gibson. Magic looking for a delay of game. You can't get the call if you don't try. I hear you, Magic. He's like going like this. Like, we're waiting on you, son. You know, get your ass over there. <laughs> it's a family program. Watch him. Hey, easy. I'm kidding. Stolen by Iggy. Knocked out. Stays gold ball. Well, no, Celtics right now have maintained the pace. They just got to start scoring. They scored three points in the first two possessions. Pretty good. 
Yep, as long as the Hawks don't, and they haven't. Jamie Guest draws the foul on Charamello. Now, are you leaving in the third quarter? Chris said he would jump here and do it. For a quarter? Well, I got someone to do the next game, so that's good. Chris DeVega of the Kings. He's coming in. Oh, you don't help in the booth, you ain't getting the mic. You can use a mic right here. You can come right into the booth and help yourself. You're supposed to talk about the game. I'm talking to you. Almost the coach. Right now, we got seven minutes to go in the third. 40 to 24, Hawks. Joe Armstrong in the game. Gibson, Santos, Charamella, and Skane for the Celtics. Santos for three. Skane for two. Ball's bouncing around. Iggy by his lonesome underneath. Fouls on Michael Lee. Just be popping them out or uh, don't have to do nothing but walk on stage and go. That's it and get paid. Iggy misses. Michael Lee almost goes off Lee. Couldn't squeeze that ball. Toast the hands. Inside for Armstrong. Armstrong, no backboard. Joe using his Armstrong strength. Oh, look at my man. Look at that, almost tapped in by Omita. GP was going off. Not Peyton. By the way, he's back in the Celtics. Armstrong again. People just don't get it. He ain't that bad. Rico blocked by Skane. He took about a minute and a half to set that shot up. And then he took it up slowly. Get him now. 14 point game. Jump ball, maybe he ties him up. No Cliff Williams today? Cliff Williams was here earlier at the meeting today, but he wasn't here. Probably had something to do with his new child. Thrown away. Reaching by Iggy. Five minutes to go. Legentis with the ball, takes the shot, as usual. Armstrong with the board. Being patient, Charamella to Gibson. Iggy's bringing up the ball. Ask the back of my head. Up and under, good job by Iggy. Down to 12 point lead. Cut, cut down seven points off their lead. Almeida with a poor shot, air ball. They're gonna let the Southerners come right back in. Why did he stop? Armstrong with the travel. San Pierre coming in for Jacende Puyo. Yeah, the Hawks lost a seven point deficit off their 17. Or well, five point deficit. Well, they just scored, so it's, you know, puts them back up. It's all good. Maybe it's because Bernaco's wearing a Kevin Garnett shirt. He coaches the Hawks, but wears a Wolves shirt. Right now, the Celtics are in their huddle. The Hawks in theirs. The Hawks want to continue the pace they put on in the first quarter. The Celtics want to cut it down. But it's up to their defense to stop the Hawks from penetrating and passing so well. And the reason why I think the Hawks came off to a slow start is William Lou is on the bench. Hey, he's 
I don't know if he's their spark plug, but he just makes things different when he's on the club, when he's on the court. Jamie Guest is the spark plug. The quarterback, the big thumb, the big toe, if you will. It's up to him. Oh, Sam Pierre. I think Jamie Guest is probably the second, second best player in this league. All around? All around. Possibly. If Jeremy Rocker was in this league, he'd be the best. I'd vote for Guess as MVP. I would too. If Rocker was in the league, but I had to, I had to vote for my for Rocker. But you can't vote for your own team. Then I'd vote for Guess. There you go. I will too. I hope he gets it because Rocker got his last year. That's right. And he'll probably get it in the finals. Yeah. So let's give it to, to Guess. Now, do you vote for the MVP at the, after the finals or before the finals? Before. So, yeah. Jamie Guess with the basket. They, they're telling him to go back 2-3. Alan Omondi, the underutilized Alan Omondi, I feel should be getting a little more playing time. But actions on becoming of a Celtic do put people on the bench. Nice save. They got a three on one. Pierre with the ball, passes it back, kicked out. Amandi in for Armstrong. Armstrong shaking his head no. Why are you taking me out? Fred Riley making an appearance to the game. There's six people on the court. Why is Joe Armstrong out there causing problems? No, it ain't. Iggy gets the ball up, followed by Rico from behind. Go shot. Now that was a lot of L O T on the Celtic part a couple seconds ago. There was. He should have put the shot right up. That was the five letters. No, no, no. Before that. Before the. the oh, and the other one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, five letters, not the three. Five. Come on, you got a big lead. Come on. Southwick's down 14 with 3.04 to go in the third. He missed, he missed four in a row. Now he just snapped that four in a row streak he missed. 13 point game. Michael Lee. Oh, oh almost. almost. Trying to pull Kevin Garnett there. Almondi inside for Sertle. Sertle. Good job. Sertle, Sertle, Sertle! Iggy with the steal, takes it from Almeida to Amandi who's got to hit it. Here they come, they're down nine. The Hawks needed to keep that pressure they had in the first. Pierre gets stripped easily by Santos. Pass it over to Sertle, trying to get by Legentis, no good. That looked like it was off. Looked like it was off Iggy. The minus eight so far this quarter for the Hawks. William Lewis back in the game. It's about time. Oh, he missed it. Tapped in by Guess. Fundamental player. Fundamental. He knows the fundamentals. See, I know the big vocabulary. He's fun and he's not mental. <laughs> Armandi like, takes it to the middle. And Up and over. Hoopenham. Yeah. The end one. Not many more we can say about that. Not much left. We make a good team. Who, you and Alan? No, you and me. Uh-oh. Hits the three. Why, why did everybody stop? It was only one. That's all confused. There's a lot of L.O.T. going on right now, and I'm confused myself. So am I. They made me confused. Michael Lee got confused. So 
Oh, Fred Riley Riley got confused. Everybody's confused. I'm waiting for someone to shoot at the wrong basket. Now that's played shot. If that happens, I'm going to be in hysterics. <laughs> I knew someone was by a For three. So oh. it goes for three. A five point game. And the Hawks call a timeout. Time out, Hawks. 12 minus 12 for the Hawks. Five point lead, minute 24 to go in the third. Away. Andy's trying, people, please, if you don't like what you're hearing, you can turn the channel. You can kill the volume. Ooh, He's, the ref is just way down the other end, doesn't want to hear it. The ref don't want to hear it. Jovan is just screaming. <laughs> One ref's just smiling, the other one's like, okay. The other ref's like, hey, my call, I didn't make it. Does Javon have a point there, though? I think he does. It's on tape. I think he has a point. He's out of control, coach, I agree. What but he does have a point. What call was he questioning? The, the layup call? that he shot, and it just went out of bounds. No one touched it. It went off the Celtics, and they gave it back to the Celtics. <laughs> Jamie Guest needs to reel his boys back in. Michael Lee going down low against Iggy. And they're calling a quick foul. They're calling a quick foul. Oh, he He's about to get a tee. Uh, I don't know about this. I think that call was to tell these coaches I'm in charge, sit down. He, that's what he did. He told them, sit down now. Soto getting beast. Didn't use backboard, though. And they're not calling the foul on Riley, and they're saying the Legendas threw it out. Well, the refs are annoyed. The refs make the calls. Santos for three, no good. San Pierre, William Liu needs to get involved in the offense. Sets the pick, good move. Foul on Gibson. How many fouls does he have? Third personal. That one you were. Yeah, I'm, I'm more out when the games are close. Okay. <laughs> Guess at the line hits the first. He's in the top ten, I believe. Better be. Or what? You're gonna beat him up? No. All right. And I, I can't see how there's ten guys better than him. Thirty seconds. Oh, he traveled. Was a travel. He slid with it. He did the electric slide. Oh yeah, he's been in a few times. He started. Yeah, he just took him out like two minutes ago. Well, five minutes ago. Oh, William Lou, wide right open, gotta hit it. Nice move, William Lou. Back up to nine points. Ten seconds. There goes Iggy, he's gotta pull his pants up. <laughs> Here you. goes Adler once again making the spin move. Fred Riley just throwing it up straight. It counts. It counts by Adler Soto. Seven point deficit to end the third. I am Evil Andy. Cut down ten points. I'm Evil Andy Robinson and I'm out of here. So I guess Chris Rogers is coming over to help allegedly. Allegedly. Great job, I'm trying. Got my pat on my back. My Hebert almost threw on my shoulder blade. <laughs> Have fun. I'm going to do my best. Chris Rogers is stepping up for the final 10 of this interesting game. Getting behind the camera. This will show you, kiddies, the head coach of the Kings had to step up because none of y'all wanted to. And he stepped up on the chair, and I thought I heard his bones creak. Just follow the ball and move it around. This is 
recording? Start a recording. Nice try by Michael Lee. The Hawks are trying to move the ball well. Seven point lead. Final quarter, it's up to the Southers now. Picked from behind by Lou. Guess gets bodied by Riley. No basket. Oh, he's counting? Oh, okay. Thought he was counting it. Nice pass, blocked by Gibson. Beautiful pass inside. If Michael Lee could have just upfaked, Iggy would have flew right by him. Michael Lee involved a lot here. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> it's not a no worry, yes. Sending, sending his people over, he can't do it himself. Oh, wow, he called you a punk. Oh, I hear you. Stay strong. Hugh Lee got a three today. Almost had a two. Slow start to the fourth quarter. Allegedly, Chris DeVega is coming in to help on the third game. If he doesn't, I'll have to bring people in to do the commentating. And that could be dangerous when you put the kids behind the mic. Mondi outs it for Gibson. Seven and a half to go. Blocked by Rolf Presume to guess. The numbers are even. Stolen from behind. Iggy is everywhere. Skane coming back into the game. For Fred Riley. Ooh, offensive. Definitely offensive. He just threw his body right into him. Jamie Guess had his feet planted. Nine point deficit, 640 to go in the game. Celtics need this win to almost clinch fourth spot. It's not locked yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, he blows the bunny. He was rejected by the bottom of the rim. Oh, he got picked. Jamie Guess with a nice pick. <laughs> Southwick's got the timeout. 6.16 to go in the fourth quarter. Hugh Lee had an open basket. You see the heads of the Celtic squad, the head of the heads, Magic Evans Riviere trying to get his troops together. A disgusted Joe Armstrong just does not look happy. He want, just wants to out. He just wants out. He wants to be a king. So does Robert Skane. So does Matt Belly. Why all the Celtics going to be kings? Really? Peace. Two-player trade? Why not? Oh, 
William Luch fighting hard, trying to get that to go. Hawks, a basket now will make the pr pressure even harder on the Celtics, especially if this goes. No good. There goes Armandi. He's not looking. His head is not up. But he hits the basket anyway. That helps the Celtics' cause right there. Keeps it close. Hawks have had the lead the entire game. Jumped out real early, pressing the Celtics to start the game. Pulled the press off, and the Celtics have come back since. Krista Vega shows up today when they don't have a game. Missed yesterday. He had worked, said he'd be here in 45 minutes. A day and a half later, Santos with the hoop. Santos with the hustle down there. Five point lead again. Celtics that came back from a 17 point deficit. That's two pair. Two pair on Igna. Guess at the line, 53%. Four points exact, six point lead, Hawks. Something to add? Want a mic? Turn around, Omondi. Bad shot. Presume with the bat. No, he did not. And there goes Adler. He's trying. Gain over to Tam. Wide open, couldn't hit. Gibby, yeah, Iggy with the rebound. That would have been big. I need these, man. Come on. What do you need? It's actually not that bad at all this year. No? Not at all. Almost 60%. Oh, really? He's in the top 10. Just about three minutes to go. Iggy with the reach, and he just fouled out. Are they calling it on Adler? It's on Adler. Thought he was calling reach from behind. I can't have five even goes bye bye. Coach, you're out of control. You need a Valium. Calm down, coach. Gotta put 15 to game. Get them rebounds. Got the way. Get you a balloon. <laughs> one and one for the Celtics. Bryant Santos coming into the game. Andy Gogolis Robinson will be in the next game. Stay tuned. Two days from today, you will see Andy Robinson and the, his Lakers facing off, I believe, the Sonics. 
Nice spin. Jamie gets total control of the ball. He never does. Yep. Fundamentally sound, strong player. MVP and Bronco wasn't in the league. Trials, they didn't take him. Last year. Here goes Santos, lefty. That's his shot. Very, very quick. He played JV last year. Played here his sophomore year. JV his junior year. Back here his senior year. Omita, bad shot off the glass. Versan Charles is very quiet today. I don't think he has a basket. But he's going to the line. Nick Charamella coming into the game. Versan Charles is in the bottom 10 for the worst free throw shooters in the league. Celtics with the ball. Two minutes to go. They're only down five. Charamella gets blocked from behind. Presume saying he blocked it clean. Yeah, the block was good, but did he hit him with his body is the question. That's what the refs are saying. Hits the first. Charamella at the line. He's in the bottom 10. Oh, yes. Bad things happen when you get teams hanging around. <laughs> yes, they do. And just like that, a three point game. Hawks were up 17 in the first half. Blowing them out. Celtics just came back out of nowhere. The Hawks need to, they need to keep capitalizing on shots. They're falling apart. Javon Walcott's getting the antsy right now. He might walk on the court. He hasn't hit one today. Actually, no, he has hit one. There goes Santos trying to do his imitation of Jamie Guess. It worked for him. One point lead for the Hawks. This is getting interesting. Jamie Guess through the legs to roll, presume blows the bunny. The Hawks just got to slow down. Jamie Guess, nice move, blows the bunny. Rasan Charles draws the foul, but not the basket. And he's not the man they want at the line at this time. That's two pair on Adler. And the Hawks want a timeout. They're freezing their own player.
There goes Adler. Adler using his speed spins. He got away with a travel. I think that was a travel. The Hawks bench is just losing it. Chris Rogers wants to see Joe Armstrong in the game. He wants him in 15. Get you some rebounds. Front rims it by Adler. Adler Sertle, not too bad, 45%. Not good, but not bad. He hits a second. We got a tie score here, people. Almeida by himself. The Hawks need to stop him here and get the ball back and score again if they want to hold on to second place. The Celtics want this game more than the Hawks do, it seems. Oh, he lost it. Oh, a foul on Chalamella. From behind. Double bonus for the Hawks. They're at the line. And I think it's Ruben Legentis, probably the league's leading free throw shooter. He's up there. Someone stole my final sheet here, so I can't tell who the top ten anymore. He hits the first. He was averaging 72.9. Trying to freeze him. Oh, there's a dude, we got a little problem here. Andy. Andy. Not your game. He said no on the timeout. He already had the ball in his hand. There's a little discrepancy right now. He hit the shot. Now you can have the timeout. The rule is once the player has the ball in his hand. You cannot call a timeout. Legend is a little acting right there. Ruben Legendus averaged 71.4 before today. He reached around and hugged him and said, good game, man. That's what he did. He gave him a hug. Why can't we all just get along? It's not over when you got a Bobby Skane who can hit some threes. Brian Sandoz can hit some threes. I don't know, Monty should have gave that to Charamella. Now it's over. Legendus lost control. There's no hurry to shoot. Guess hits the basket and that should be game. That is the game. Nick gets the basket, and that's the game. The final score, 67-61 in favor of the Hawks. The Hawks stay in second place. The Celtics are still in the hunt. This season is not over yet. The Celtics still have time. Joe Armstrong is saying it's over. That's poor sportsmanship. He's on camera saying trade me. It ain't gonna happen. You got two games left of the season. You better relax, son. Hope your uh, team gets into the playoffs. But for Brad Ruth Benton, Chris Rogers who stepped up, Andy Robinson earlier, and Esther Dudley, and Chris DeVegas shows up, we'll give him one too. We'll see you at the next games. This is getting interesting. <laughs>